Hi everyone, my name is Rivka Rosenberg. Today I will teach you a very special lesson. The lesson is called Directions and the focus is on speaking. Let's begin. Can you understand phrases and expressions related to areas of most immediate priority, means that you need them the most, regarding local geography, where you are located? Can you use band two words in the context of local geography? You will be able to do so by the end of this lesson. This is the city of Tel Aviv. I love the city of Tel Aviv. The buildings, the beach, there is lots to do in the city of Tel Aviv. Do you like the city of Tel Aviv? Jake and Michael are touring Tel Aviv. They are tourists. This is Jake and Michael. This is a woman on the street. And she says, hi. They say to her, hi, can you help us please? And she says, sure, how can I help you? Jake and Michael want to go to the museum, to the art museum. And they say, how do we get to the museum? And the woman says, keep going straight. Jake and Michael say, how do we get to the police station? And the woman says, I hope everything is okay. Walk straight for two blocks, then turn right, go one more block, and you will see it on your left. Then Jake says, my sister had a baby. We are going to visit her. How do we get to the hospital? And the woman says, go to the corner, turn right, then go straight, you will see it at the corner. Michael says, there is a soccer game tonight. How do we get to the stadium? And the woman says, it's a long, long walk. Go to the corner, La Pina, turn right, drive two blocks for about 45 minutes, and you will see it on the right side. Now Jake says, how do we get to the garage? We need oil for our car. And the woman says, it's on the way to the stadium, to your game. Go two blocks, turn left, it's on the right, across from the park. Jake and Michael, it was nice to meet you. Drive carefully. Try using Waze next time. It's much easier. Giving directions to someone. When you give directions, when they ask you, for example, how do I get to somewhere? So the answers could be go two blocks, two streets, or go to the corner, or just go straight. This is, these are possible answers for how do I get to. When the question is where is the something, the answer is it's on the right opposite the gas station. Or it's at the corner of a street and another street. Or it's there. These are two possible questions and several answers. Let's look at them again. How do I get to somewhere? The answer could be go to the right. Oh, sorry about that. How do I get to somewhere? Go two blocks, go to the corner, or go straight. But if the question is where is the, where is the hospital, where is the restaurant? The answers could be it's on the right, opposite the gas station, or it's on the corner of street and street, or it's there. Let's help, let's help Jake and Michael walk around town. Your teacher will ask you questions and you can answer out loud because today we are focusing on speaking. Directions, go straight. You see, this is going straight. You see the footsteps? Going straight. Turn left. 
What's this? Turn right, of course. This is, it's across from the school. It looks like a museum. The museum, it is across from the school. How do I get to the police station? If the question is, how do I get to the police station? What's the answer? So where is the, where are they? Look where the police station, you see the little police car? How do I get to the police station? You go two blocks, one street and then another street. Then you turn right. You go one more block. What block is the street? And it's on the left. You see, here is the police station. How do I get to the hospital? Go to the corner, turn right, go straight on. It's on the corner of Dizengoff and Ben Yehuda Street. How do I get to the stadium? Go to the corner, Turn right, go two blocks, it's on the right opposite the gas station. How do I get to the garage? Go two blocks, turn left, it's on the right across from the park. Thank you for your help. And the answer is, you're welcome. Let's go over what we did up until now. I'd like to go over again the table that I put here before. Just one second, let me go back. Here is the table that summarizes what we've done up until now, giving directions. The giving directions, if you can ask two possible questions, you can ask more, but here I'm talking about two possible questions. The first question is, how do I get to somewhere? How do I get to the museum? How do I get to the school? How do I get to the restaurant? The answers could be go two blocks, two streets, or go to the corner, or go straight. How do I get to? The answer is go somewhere. But if someone asks, where is the, where is the restaurant, where is the police station? The answer to where is the, you can say it's on the right opposite the gas station, or it's on, at the corner of street and street, or it's there. So then we saw Sam and Michael here going, uh, touring around the city going around Ben Yehuda Street, Dizengoff Street, and the answer could be if someone helps you, thank you for your help, and of course you say you're welcome, or they say you're welcome. So now we're taking a very short break of 10 minutes, but don't forget to come back after.
Thank you for coming back. Our lesson today is giving directions. Before the break, we talked about two possible questions. The qu question number one could be, how do I get to? How do I get to the restaurant? How do I get to the museum? How do I get to the center of town, for example? And the possible answers are, go two blocks, go two streets, go to the corner, go straight, go left. These are possible answers. But if you ask, where is the? Where is the museum? Where is the restaurant? The answers could be, it's on the right, opposite the gas station. Or it's at the corner of street and street. Or it's over there. These are possible answers. Now let's practice. Let's travel to London. Tell your friend how to get to somewhere. This is a map of London. You see the little person here? He's at the corner at the, uh, on Oak Street. Where is the library? Possible question. The, per the person asks, where is the library? And the answer could be, go straight ahead on Oak Street, go straight, turn left on the corner of New Street. It's on the left opposite the museum. See, go straight on Oak Street, turn left on the corner of New Street. It's on the left opposite the museum. Let's try one more. Where is the person now? Oh, the person is on New Street. How do I get to the museum? I want to go to the museum. How do I get there? Go straight on New Street, turn right on Oak Street. It's on the left and next to the barber. The barber is the hairdresser. He cuts the hair. And the person is going up to the museum. Let's try one more. We're in London. It's fun. You see the person? He's on Grand Street. Grand is big. Where is the fire station? Uh-oh, there is a fire. Where is the fire station? Go straight ahead on Grand Street until Hill Road. Turn right. It's on the left and opposite to the airport. Here the person is going down Grand Street, turning on Hill Road, and here is the fire station across or opposite the airport. We're having fun in London. Let's try one more. How do I get to the post office? I'd like to mail a letter or postcard from London. How do I get to the post office? Go straight on Hill Road, take the first right, go straight ahead, turn right or left, and the post office is between, between the bain in Hebrew, the cinema and the market. You see the post office? Now I'd like you to complete the a writing activity. Describe the map. You see the person here in blue? Please give the directions to the person on how to get to the bank, to the cinema, and to the tower. The person is between the school and the sports center. Please give the person directions how to get from the school to the bank, then to the cinema, and then to the tower. This is a writing activity. So please do this for the next uh, four or five minutes in your notebook and give directions on how to get to the bank, to the cinema, and to the tower. Good luck. I'll be back soon.
Welcome back. I hope you had time to complete this writing activity describing the map. Please, I wanted you to please give directions on how to get to the bank, to the cinema, and to the tower. You can say, excuse me, where's the bank? This could be a question. Excuse me, where's the bank? Excuse me, how do I get to the cinema? So you go down, depend where, where the person is here, you go down New Street, you turn on Oak Street, and again on Grand Avenue, and the cinema is at the corner. Excuse me, where is the tower? Go to the corner, turn right on Hill Road, and the tower is at the corner. Now I'd like you to complete a recording activity. Take your phone, choose two points on Google Map, and tell someone how to get from one point to another point. So for example, on Google Map, it could be, I put here, sorry, I put here Serona in Tel Aviv and Azrieli Center. So I wanted you to choose two points on Google Maps, tell someone how to get from one point to another point. It could be from your house to the school or from your house to uh, a museum or a restaurant. But I'd like you to use the questions and answers that we learned today. And I'd like you to record this activity because we are focusing on speaking. It's a recording activity. So please use your phone, record yourself and use the questions and answers here in the table. For example, how do I get to and the answer could be go two blocks, go to the corner, or where is the, where's the mall? It's on the right, it's on the left, it's at the corner of two streets. So what I put here is I put one point is Serona Market and one is Azrieli Center, the mall. And here you can see these are the two points and you can describe how you get from one point to another point. For example, you take, uh, um, Tel Aviv, uh, what street is this? I can't see very well, but a, a, a Kaplan Street. You take Kaplan Street and then you turn left at the corner and you walk for 10 minutes until you get to Serona. So uh, please complete this recording activity and I'll be back very soon.
Welcome back. I hope you had time to complete this recording activity, but if not, after the lesson is over, you can go back and do this. What I wanted you to do is to choose two points on Google Maps, tell someone how to get from one point to another point. So for example, how do I get to the school? So go two blocks, turn left at the corner, then right, and it's on your left. This is an example. Or where is the restaurant? Go to the corner, turn right, and then left, and then go straight down the street. These are possible answers. I wanted you to record this activity and then to share it with your family, friends, and teacher. Now I'd like you to record an, another recording. Please complete this rec another second recording activity. Give directions to your friend on how to get from your house to somewhere else. So let's say your friend is visiting you and your friend wants to go from your house to somewhere else, to uh, maybe to the beach, if you live near the beach, or to the restaurant, or to the post office maybe. So an example could go, could be leave my house, exit my house, go down the street, turn left, then go to the corner, the restaurant is on the left. This is an example. So this is a second recording activity because today we're focusing on speaking. So giving, give directions to your friend on how to get from your house to somewhere else. But I'd like you to record your answer and to share it on TikTok, WhatsApp, or Instagram if you have these with your friends, family, and teacher. Good luck with this recording activity. TikTok is fun. Welcome back. I hope you had time to complete this recording activity, giving directions to your friend from your house to somewhere else. And I wanted you to share your work on either TikTok, WhatsApp, or Instagram. Now I'd like you for the next minute or two to complete the self-assessment. Self-assessment means assessing yourself, listening and watching yourself, your recordings, and filling in the table below. Can you give directions to someone now? Yes, no, or not sure. Can you ask questions about directions? Yes, no, or not sure. And can you answer questions about directions? This is what we did today. Yes, no, or not sure. Complete the self-assessment table, and I'll be back in a minute or two.
Welcome back. Now it's the end of the lesson. By now you can understand phrases and expressions related to areas of most immediate priority. Means that you can understand phrases that are very, very important regarding your geography, your local geography, where you are located. And you can use band two words in the context of local geography. So thank you very much for watching me today. My lesson was on directions and the focus was on speaking. My name is Rivka Rosenberg and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.